This is the C3 News Show. Good morning, wonderful creatures of the Chaos Universe. It's day four of the R3 Nowhere. Well, it's sadly coming to an end, but let's do our best to enjoy the last day. There are still so many talks to discover and things to do in the 2D world. So, yeah. What will we do after this Congress? I guess there were so many talks that we will be quite busy watching all of them. Talking about talks, infrastructure and the 2D world, there is one team that was founded last year to start programming something quite interesting, I think, and they are already thinking on what to do when we can meet each other in person again. So Lindworm sat down for an interview with the Hub team. Hey, hey Jay. Yo, hi. So um, I'm not very uh, familiar with the Asus 3 Hub. Can you tell me what it's all about? Oh, well, uh, basically it's the component that integrates all the other stuff. It's um, more or less a yeah, component in the background. Uh, which interfaces to all the other parts of the RC3. Um, for example, the work adventure is yeah, more or less uh, feed or fed with data from us. Um, assemblies have sent their data, uh, their maps into our back office uh, where we yeah, interface with the map service, with the linting uh, engine, which yeah, checks the maps for errors and unwanted mm -hmm. content and uh, pushes that back. So you're the octopus in the middle for yeah. uh, you, you yeah. could say. Yeah, we are the octopus in the middle. Um, yeah. um, the, the idea, the well, idea is that uh, all the different uh, parts only need to co communicate with one part, which then does the translation for everyone else. So how did this work out? Uh, you started last year to program that, yeah. didn't you? Uh, last year it was an <clears throat> yeah, quick thing. Uh, okay, we need something uh, which does the, uh, we have that work adventure we want to include and how, how do we do that? And oh, well, we need something where we can uh, display the different events and so on. And the old uh, wiki approach had its issues as well. And oh, well, how do we do that? Okay, let's do something there. And it was a lot of duct tape. Um, <laughs> Isn't it always a lot of duct tape? Yeah, but this year it's uh, not less duct tape. It's uh, way better <laughs> and yeah, more thought over. Um, especially uh, the world backend is more thought over uh, as well and can handle more stuff. And the integration is a lot easier than last year as well. Did the team grow this yeah. year? Um, we uh, tried. Uh, we started in. August, um, September, and um, during that time, we already started to look out for new uh, team members. And yeah, right now the team is about 25, 30 people, although not all of them are active. Uh, do you just live for this moment or are you planning for the future? We already have a lot of ideas to have a hybrid uh, Congress uh, oh, that would be to nice. integrate the real world with it to do to the world. There's a lot of potential there. And if anybody, <laughs> out, if anybody out there <laughs> has ideas, please send them in. Uh, we'd love to well, hear. How, how can we reach you? Uh, right, how can right we reach now, you? Uh, hub at rc3.world. Thank you very much for this insightful yeah. talk. And uh, good luck for the future. This sounds very, very promising. I hope to interview you then uh, again. Yeah. See well, you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you so much, Hub Team, for all the work you do and for this really great idea. And yeah, you might notice that this version of the interview was a bit short. And you are right. We have a long version of it and we will publish it very soon. In the meantime, maybe think of ideas for the Hub Team and just contact them. Well, so, as I said already, it's the last day and it's uh, really, really sad to see that. And because everything is better if you have a cocktail at your hand, Lucas created a morning cocktail for you. 
The morning ingredients. Tomato juice, vodka, tabasco, Worcester sauce, salt, pepper, lime, celery. A shaker, jar, peeler, knife, juice press. For decoration, peel a slice of lime. Press the juice. Add tomato juice. Add vodka. Add the Worcester sauce and Tabasco. Spice with salt and pepper. And clean the bloody desk. Shake it on ice. And garnish with celery and lime peel. Cheers and goodbye! Thank you, Lucas. Unfortunately, I ran out of vodka and wasn't able to recreate this cocktail, so I'm stuck with uh, my magic coffee cup. But if you are already thinking about the after parties tonight, then maybe go back and watch our fourth shows for some cocktail inspirations. Talking about what to do next, here's um, the far plan for the next few hours. At 12.30 there will be a talk at Seabase called Kältefalle Bosnien, Bericht von Blindspots über die Lebenssituation, People on the Move im Bosnischen Grenzgebiet. In a short talk they will tell you all about what is happening on the Balkan route at the moment and reporting the reality of life of the people on the move and the activists in the Bosnian Croatian border area. And there is a really cool workshop with Mitch Altman at 2 at the x -Hein. There you can learn how to solder with TV B Gone Bad Kit. So if you are one of those people who don't know how to solder and are already scared because, um, well, in the present Congress there is a lot of stuff like this going around, this might be your chance. Well, you know now uh, maybe what to do in the next few hours and while watching all those amazing talks you might get a bit frustrated about the net political situation um, of the world and you're thinking about what to do and you are angry and sad at the same time. I think one amazing thing we can do about this is donate to the medium that reports a lot of stuff regarding digital freedom, important issues surrounding the internet, society and politics and show ways in which um, you can also get involved in digital freedom rights and openness yourself. Um, yeah, and they also describe political change changes of the internet through regulation and how net changes politics, publics and everything else. Some of you might already know whom I'm talking about. It's of course netspolitik.org and they really need donations to get going and be as amazing as they are and have amazing journalists in good quality by their hand. So please consider donating for netspolitik.org. And that's a wrap. That was the last morning show of this RT3 Nowhere, but don't worry, it wasn't my last show. There's still so much stuff coming your way and there will be another news show at 2 which will be held by an amazing person. She is part of the news team since forever, like since we found were founded last year, as I am. And well, she wasn't involved in shows this year, not because she hadn't had the time or wasn't part of the team, but because she was organizing and communicating all the stuff in the background. And yeah, Stay tuned um, for this show and there will be some surprises for you as well. In the meantime, yeah, have fun, explore the world and 
If you have amazing ideas or Hackerspaces things, we always like to introduce Hackerspaces during the year. So shoot us an email or a DM on Twitter. I'm Khaleesi. This is a C3 News Show.